Hey, welcome back to Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to solve a little problem we're having with the uh, the unruly mob down here. See these guys? Our three chickens were allowed. Seems we've gotten a taste for uh, their own eggs. And we changed their food. We've tried giving them, uh, you know, uh, hamburger. Uh, changed their food out. Giving them plenty of oyster shell. Plenty, you know. First they we they were eating the shells, and we put them on oyster shell. They quit doing that. Anyway, now they're eating the actual egg yolk. Uh, just a minute, one of them lays. The other ones attack it, and you know. So we're not getting any eggs because they're eating them all. So we decided today that the backwoods gourmet can outsmart the chicken. The problem is these guys we're feeding them and they're not feeding us so they're eating eggs so everybody you go and talk to on the internet or uh, do research on the only way to get rid of an old chicken that's eating eggs is well I'm all with that but I know a lot of you folks have family and the kids interact with the chickens so the first thing that's gonna happen is your little daughter, your little son is going to say, Daddy, you can't kill the chicken. We can't eat him. And you're going to say, Why? We had chicken for dinner last night. And they're going to say, But we didn't know that chicken. So, we'll come up with a better solution. We'll take a look at the, the finished version, and then we're going to go build one in the shop. All right. Well, this is the finished version of the new um, egg box and it is an egg trap and we'll show you more about it as, uh, as we right, go folks here. here we are at the Backwoods Gourmet uh, shop it's kind of a mess right now but here's a few of the things you're going to need uh, to do this project uh, first of all you need you know a cordless drill or a screwdriver if you prefer to do it manually, manually or you don't have those you can definitely use a screwdriver you need some kind of a saw don't matter um, you're going to need a, a jigsaw a circular saw you know something to cut curve with something to cut straight with uh, you're going to need a utility knife, a marker. Um, <coughs> here we're going to be using um, pneumatic uh, a stapler with half inch uh, staples. Now, if you don't have this, you can definitely just use a tack hammer and some of these uh, little uh, upholstery tacks to accomplish the same thing that we're going to do. Here we have our uh, stock chicken box. You know, this is uh, much like you can buy at Tractor Supply, something like that. We built these out of pressure treats so they won't uh, um, uh, rot. but um, this is the basis for uh, this project, and if you don't, you know, if you can either build this or uh, just start from scratch, or uh, get one from Tractor Supply. All right, materials. You're gonna need uh, some small sticks. Um, these are just some stuff we ripped out on the table saw. It was left over. This is like a three quarter by three quarter. Okay, over here you're gonna need a um, piece of a half inch plywood or, or something similar. And you're going to need a couple of, you know, these are scrap pieces of quarter inch plywood. Um, if you don't have quarter, use use something bigger. Use what we, whatever you got laying around, you can uh, do the same thing with it. Uh, most importantly, this uh, is a shower liner. It's a, a rubber shower liner. You can buy this uh, on a roll, Lowe's and Home Depot. You see this is right there, plumbing code. Um, but this is going to be, uh, you'll see what that's going to be used for in a little while. Um, so that's a, basically materials you're going to need. You're going to need, you know, uh, pencils, pens, tape measure, uh, the normal things you would for any other kind of project. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is get access to this box from outside the pen. So we just marked out a square on the back of the box, and uh, you want that to be, um, you know, up uh, an inch and a half or so from the bottom. This is three quarter inch thick. You want to remain with a lip there to keep the eggs from rolling completely out of there. So we'll just cut that hole out. Um, we'll drill four uh, four holes at the corners with our cordless drill over there, and then cut it out with jigsaw. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, mission accomplished. There we have our hole. You notice there is still a lip on the inside. We have about a half inch lip here. You want to maintain that. Okay, what we did was we did roughly cut out a piece of our uh, shower pan liner, uh, just uh, to be you know larger than the box. Um, doesn't really matter. Doesn't have to be pretty. All we're all we're doing is with this, we're going to actually create a, a soft ramp, at the bottom of this box. So we'll show okay, you how so you start that. Kind of installed the uh, 
the rubber matting here and push it down tight in that back corner back there. You want to leave about two inches sticking up uh, higher here. And then we're just going to tack it. That's one of the other reasons we left that uh, we left that loose. We're just going to tack it um, to, to the back wall itself uh, first. Tack it with some staples. Okay. Once you got that tack there, you can put your view in the bottom. Um, just to hold it secure. And what we're going to create here is a bumper for the eggs when they roll down this. So what we're going to do is just going to fold this over a little bit. Sometimes it helps to get in here with your knife and relieve these um, corners. You can see where the corners kind of puckered up. You just give that a little slice. It'll uh, help help that lay down a little better. We just um, slice that out. So, and what we'll do is we'll fold this over leaving a space, okay, leaving a space there, leaving air inside, okay, it's going to be very hard for me to film this and and um, staple it at the same time, but I'll, you see what the idea is, you're, you're creating a little rubber bumper so when the eggs roll down they'll hit that and it won't break, so I'll go ahead and staple it and I'll show you what it looks like when it Okay, well here's, here's how it looks after it's all stapled down, doesn't have to be pretty, we're just looking for some little bumper back there. Well, like I said, for when the eggs roll down. So you can trim the corner off nice and neat like I have there, or just leave it up like that. doesn't matter. Um, not going to see any of this. And uh, okay. chickens don't care. Uh, this part right here is very difficult to show you and do it with uh, we need two hands. But to basically, you're wanting to squeeze the, the, the rubber against the front edge here um, to where you're, you're, uh, you know, you're creating a ramp down. Okay, so you're just going to kind of get it creased in there where you got kind of a line. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll tip it up and then we'll staple it across here so that this uh, remains as a, a ramp going down this way. We want the, uh, the eggs are eventually going to roll down this uh, cushioned ramp here. Um, so we'll staple that and I'll show you what it looks okay, like. Okay, here what I've done to get this ramp started, I pull it tight and just give it a staple in both corners. And uh, you can see that it's definitely it's ramped down there. So we kind of established the line now. So we can now we can just staple uh, using you know use the tip of the gun or uh, your tacks. You know if you're going to do it with uh, upholstery tacks, just you know do one at each corner, then do one in the middle, and then come back and fill them in. Okay. So notice when we cut the, the rubber here, uh, we use the outline of the box to cut the rubber so that we got three quarters of an inch extending up onto the sides. So all we're going to do there is we're going to pull it up a little bit and uh, staple it all on both sides, on both sides here uh, to the side of the box and that will keep the eggs from getting hung up uh, if they roll down next to the, the sides. If you see we, we've got it stapled across the top we've got it stapled across the uh, sides and now you have a nice cushy landing area there for the eggs when they roll off of here which we're going to get to. Uh, one of the things that I did not mention in the materials list is going to make this a lot uh, easier now you can do this front bumper the same way that we did the back bumper by just folding it over. And it makes it a lot easier since you're doing it on the inside there. If you have some of this foam weather stripping tape, so all we're going to do is we're just going to cut a piece of that off and uh, we're going to fold this down, okay? Fold that piece down and then we're going to lay that weather stripping tape across the front here as a, as a front bumper, okay? Right under this lip here and then we're going to um, then uh, we'll fold the plastic over it because the chickens will uh, peck this. Um, they're they're dumbasses. Okay, uh, they'll they'll try to eat that rubber so or that uh, foam rubber. So if it's not under there, they're just going to tear it all to pieces. So that's why I want to cover. Okay, it with rubber. so this is the peel and stick type of weather strip and foam weather strip. And so we just pull it off there. We left about a quarter inch at the top, so that we have a uh, we have room there to um, staple the rubber back on. Okay, so I went ahead and stapled that up on both sides of the uh, the rubber uh, um, weather strip and just stapled it in there. You can see it creates a bumper there. We also came over the top edge, stapled it back on this side and just trimmed it off. So we'll move on. Alrighty, what, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our uh, three quarter by three quarter stick and we're just going to we're just going to measure that across here and we'll, we'll mark it the, the width of the box. And um, instead of cranking up your power tools, just use a little bear saw, you can use a hand saw, uh, a little dovetail saw, whatever kind of saw you got. This small stuff cuts really easy. So we're going to cut one for here uh, and one for at the back. Uh, your box may not be the same um, on, on uh, front and back, so measure them separately. We'll 
we'll move on. Let me cut those. All right, folks. So this particular um, exercise, you're going to need a very precise measuring tool, and 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 here it is. Okay, you're going to need uh, one of the bigger eggs that your chickens lay. This is a pretty good size one here, and you just got to make sure that the position of this bar, where you put this bar at, that the egg will fit long ways. You know, on its largest dimension, will fit between the bumper and the bar, and also uh, long ways fit below the the bottom of the ramp and the top of the bar. You know, you have a little 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 wiggle room there, so you need to make sure that when it rolls off here, that it goes to the back. All right. So once you get that position um, figured out and you get this relatively straight, well, I just eyeballed it. You just uh, trace around the ends with the sharpie here, so that uh, you know where that uh, position's at, so you can. Uh, Either nail it or screw it. Okay, then what I do is I take a, my, my, my stick I cut for the back, I put the level on top of it, and then I just level that out so I can carry a level line because I know this, uh, this table I'm working on is on a level surface, so that's pretty much level there. So I'm going to mark it on the back so I know where level is transferred from the front. Okay, well, here's to the, back. the two marks uh, the leveling it to the back. Now we make sure we want to have slope on this. So um, these are three quarter by three quarters, so if we lay this up here, um, you know, with that on the, uh, the bottom, we're going to get with that line on the bottom, which translates to the top of this bar, then we're going to have three quarters of fall from the back to the top. Uh, sometimes that is not quite enough, especially if they get kind of aggressive after these eggs, so we're just basically going to eyeball it where you got about a, about a good inch of drop. Uh, or an inch higher in the back than in the front. And you can see the, uh, maybe you can't, um, but the mark's there, so we're about an inch above. You could take a, your tape measure and measure that out if you wanted to, but we'll just eyeball it. It's not, not, in, not that important, as long as it's higher. Okay, so we attach that. We just use some uh, inch, and a, inch and a quarter staples to staple that to the back. Um, use whatever you got, you know, finish nails, um, Screws. You could uh, actually use drywall screws on the backside, uh, pre-drill the holes, and use a drywall screw. Uh, work even better, uh, or hold even better. But uh, we're just trying to uh, get this done for purpose of demonstration right now. And like I said, don't need to be fancy. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our uh, piece of quarter-inch plywood to fit on top of here, which is uh, 14 by 11 and a half in this case. But you'll just have to measure with your. Now we got our panel cut. Just gonna pop that in there, and you can see that uh, you know it. There is quite of a an angle to it, and uh, maybe a little much on that one. I could probably drop it down a little bit more. Um, it'll just make the egg roll faster, and we got plenty of cushion up here, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay, here what I did was I just uh, I laid uh, put the box back on top of another piece of the um, the uh, the plumbing um, shower pan liner and cut the cut it out just about an inch bigger than the box. That, that's your guide. I'll show you okay, here what I've done. I just laid it in the um, on the top of the top shelf there and left the same amount of excess. Uh, hanging on both sides. We went through a few prototypes of these and sometimes the eggs will get hung up along the edges So this is uh, the uh, advanced prototype here, and we'll show you what happens with that So first of all, I'm just going to give it a couple staples along the back just to hold it in place and then uh, Make sure you pull it nice and tight down to the front here. So there's no um, Bubbles in it, and then we're going to bend it over there a little bit or just staple it along the top first And then once we get that done, I'll I'll show you what to do to so What I did here was I just tipped the box up on its side and I want to pull that, uh, that that rubber up a little bit so that there's a nice curve to it. And then we're just going to tack it. Let's go tack it along here. About an inch up there. Okay. I'm going to do that to the other side and then we'll trim it. Alright, so all we did was we just uh, finished tacking it on the other side and I'm going to cut it off uh, flush with the edge of the, the plywood there. Um, the first one I did, I bent this around just to try to make it look better. But what it, it ends up making is a little lip on the edge of the um, of the rubber, and sometimes the the egg would actually get there and get stuck. So then you want to just test it a few times. You know, you throw your egg in there in multiple different um, configurations. Um, drop them this way. You know, you can see that it does set there if you if you especially big end down. But soon, usually as a chicken moves, they you know they bump it a little bit and it'll go. Um, you know, I, I did reduce the angle on this one a bit, so 
but for 99.9% .9 of the time, you can see how it works. With the uh, pretty much wherever the egg lands, it's going to go right down the chute and end up right back here on your bumper. Um, just like a pool table. So we'll go ahead with the next step, which is closing it in. Okay, even though chickens are pretty stupid, they do have really good eyesight. So we just take that, uh, you know, that old industrial looking gray rubber and we just kind of spray paint it a. Uh, 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 straw pattern on we just use some spray cans and some actual grass and laid it in a different rec directions with you know different colors and made it look like a nest the place they want to go lay in it you don't have to do this just thought it was a uh, good idea See. Okay, working on the front panel now, and what we do is just uh, cut out a chicken size opening in the, in the front. So you just want to mark that to where the, the bottom of the hole is even with this uh, the front lip of the of the box, and then we'll uh, we'll cut out the other. We don't need a back; we just need uh, two more sides. And and what we found with this is um, we don't protect it where they can get in there, uh, where only one chicken can get in there at a time. Uh, they'll they'll still they'll attack the egg before it can even roll down the ramp. Um, so this has helped. So uh, we'll show you how to do it real quick. It's just basically three pieces of quarter inch plywood, and it will be stapled together. Okay, we're on. The, you know, you're just uh, basic woodwork skills here. We just added uh, these little uh, three quarter by three quarters to the top edge of the plywood to give us something to put you our can top get this on with. Just to go. Uh, my stupid chicken lays a stupid egg. Boom! It's gone. They can't get it. Um, and. We went from zero eggs yesterday to uh, th all three today because of the uh, working prototype that's already in the pen. So, I hope you guys enjoy this little project and maybe uh, learn how to keep your stupid chickens from eating their damn eggs. All right, so fill these couple of boxes right here. Doesn't take long. Very, very, uh, you know, the course, the better tools you got, the less it's going to take. But even with the most basic of tools, you can still build it uh, in a couple hours. And uh, believe me, it's uh, working. Uh, and that's the great thing, it's work. So, um, this is Backwoods Gourmet, and I'll see you next time. Oh, here's the unit at work. We got all three eggs a day. And there are the culprits. Stupid chickens. <laughs>